is it going guys drew peacock here back with another video and i didn't film an intro for today's video and that actually allows me to speak on what you're about to see so the events of this video are specifically why i stopped going to socal car meets i haven't gone to a car meet in quite some time and it's the weekend so i was like you know what i just got some new wheels as you guys can see right there you guys have seen that video hopefully if not go check it out but i got some new wheels i was like you know what it's a good day let's go out let's go to a car meet let's show off the new wheels let's hang out with the boys let's just have a good day but what you're about to see is why I stopped going to car meets and it just further implanted it into my head on I'm not going to go to many more car meets. It just it doesn't make sense to me. It's just a fucking zoo. It's it's pathetic. Like you guys just got to see it. It's really embarrassing. Um, if you're any of these clowns in the video, do better. Like save that shit for your shitty ass takeovers. Don't come to car meets and ruin it for everyone. We just gotta do better. Anyways, um, I guess let's roll the clip. If you guys haven't seen my new wheels though, go check them out. I posted a video on them. I got the ride height fully adjusted and the car is sitting super pretty now. I really am just, I'm falling in love with these. At first, I was a little skeptical about the whole polish look, but it's totally growing on me. They just look like gems. They're not chrome, they're polished, so it's not like extra weight. Uh, just go check out the video on them. Anyways, let's go. Pulling up to a car meet, and you already know it's going to be a good meet when you can see fake exhaust tips on the car in front of you. He's got two tips, but one little tip inside. All right, Mammy. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it to the meet after about 30 minutes of driving around the lot. We just decided to block in Brian and Alex, so the Supra is just blocking them in. I guess we'll walk around. The meet's almost over, but based on how packed it is, I don't think anyone's going anywhere anytime soon. So let's walk around. Let's see what kind of builds there are. And let's see if there's anything cool and let's see if there's anything uh a little rice all right brian have you walked around at all uh yeah to go get this guy's hot dog yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> two questions was the hot dog good and were the cars good i didn't see any cars because i walked from over there to over here to there's help you find parking which we didn't find yeah Just walked the entire lot practically <laughs> and came back here so i haven't really seen much okay second question hot dog that's good all right that's good who's revving it sounds stock, whatever the it is. The IS over there, probably. Oh, at least it's a wagon. That's, That's a hatch. Cool. Yeah, kind of cool. All right, let's walk around. Well, this is a good start. Don't hurt too much. Yeah. Yo, why, why are you revving it so much? That thing's loud. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I can't hear shit. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of space. Is it on air or is he leaking? Got the hood going up on the RX-7. Damn, fans are still on. Toasty. Damn, all that, and then he still just threw some $300 wheels on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I have the same wheels. It's a joke. People are going to be upset at me. I love the car. No, it's very clean. Very clean car. All right, second car, Kia Stinger. Wrapped in what looks like Miami blue. We got some forged carbon. We have some carbon weave caps. We got some more carbon, more carbon, more carbon. And like a GTR style wing? Is it just a G Brian, is that just a GTR wing? Seems like it, huh? It looks just like a GTR wing, honestly. It doesn't look half bad. I don't know about the weird 2x4 in the middle. Which, it looks it looks like a 2x4 just wrapped in stickers. I don't think it is, though. But the Stinger stock, itself, it? no, the winger is not stock. No, I have no idea what... The, about the Scorpion. Uh, no, definitely not stock. I mean, the car itself looks cool. It's just that 2x4 that just throws it off. All right, we got a hood popped on a little Honda, a little EG. All right, I see a B-Series. Okay, what is it? B20, B18? Let me, let me inspect. It's a B16, the Mugen valve cover. If Eric was here, he would know if it's a real one. That's a nice blue. Stock intake manifold, at least it looks stock to me. I like the paint, the paint's really clean. Like, yeah, he, he really, uh... Although then again, why doesn't it match the rest of the car? Did he wrap the car and then paint the engine bay a different color? No, it's paint. it's paint. Well, then why well, didn't you paint it all the same color? This is a wrap. He ran out of blue. That is not wrap. No, that's paint. That would be a hard wrap. Oh, well, you know what it is? Yeah. It's candy paint. I don't care what it is. It should all match. The car itself looks really clean. Like, it's a really good condition EG. Um, the Fitment is a little a little pokey, but uh, the car itself looks really clean. The little carbon wing looks really clean. I just don't know about the color. What is it? A model Model A bucket or whatever they call them? I don't know. It's, like I don't know. Ass it's got a big ass blower on it though. Yeah, I'll tell you that. And it's got some big ass tires on it. Jesus Christ. I mean, he definitely doesn't have to worry about a state ref or a smog ticket. I mean, that's cool. Fuck, I want to hear this thing turn on. Dude, this thing's, it's like open header. This thing has to be the loudest thing like here. <laughs> I don't. 
Yeah, at idle. <laughs> like, it doesn't even, like, just turning it on. Just one crank and it probably just, like, blows everyone's ears off. This thing is crazy. Look at the belt. Cog belt. That's, just, that's a belt that you need for your <laughs> Pretty, uh, yeah, pretty much. Like 16 rib? <laughs> it, it's infinite rib. It's just a cog. That thing's crazy, dude. Fuck. Yeah, I think I could take him. No. <laughs> the alternator I know the alternator belt is like a two rib, and then you got like a fucking sixteen rib right there. Like Mammy, you wouldn't like this car because there's no roof, right? And you'd be cold. Yeah, yeah Mammy wouldn't like it. Oh, uh, only with a lap belt. Yeah. Good observation, Alex. Hey, at least though you're next to whoever you're gonna be buried with because I'm unsafe. <laughs> yeah, this is your casket. Jesus Christ. It would be a badass casket, but you're gonna be missing half your body. I don't think this thing is a roll proof, you know? I don't think no. it's got a... Look how small the little mirror it is. I don't even think I'd fit in this thing. I think my head would poke over that thing. Your my head would definitely would poke. Be over the yeah, you'd be over it. There's two types of truck guys in the world. One like this, and one like this. I I'm going to choose this one. Brian, which one would you choose? Yeah, this one's sick. All-wheel drive, coyote. I mean, pretty much a coyote. I know that you don't... It's not, it's not exactly the same, but pretty much. This thing is crazy. Slicks all the way around. He probably does digs. He probably needs the slicks. I'm going to defend him. I, I don't know if it's a coyote. Look at the front brakes on this thing. Really? No, uh -oh. they're tiny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, they're not that tiny. Uh, actually, let me rephrase that. He's got a Whipple sticker on the back of the window. He's so got a Whipple like sticker on the back? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> See, Brian, you were... I mean, he could have Whipple supercharged the four-banger, I guess. I guess. He probably could have done that. But yeah, the, the Whipple sticker... Yeah, I think Brian was mistaken. Yeah, you my think, bad to the owner of this truck. Definitely. You think he's taking it from a roll? If he's on wheel drive? I don't think that. I think that's slowing down. I think you got him. I, I don't think If so. he's on 91, I think you got him. Well, if, he, if he's on 91. But if he's got a return top, he's got a return. 4,000 plus or 10 like speeds. High. High. Oh, yeah. They're no, they're 10 speeds. speeds. Yeah. yeah, you're done. Look at all the morons run over. As if they've never heard a car rev before. Fucking brain dead. Look at all of them. They're like, oh, fire, fire. <laughs> Let's go look. <laughs> look at them go. They're fucking stupid. That hey, should have been in your uh, latest YouTube video. Which one? The one where the shitty exhaust. Yeah, oh, yeah, he could have made it. The shitty exhaust video. Oh, boy, towing the bike to the meet? The stretch? Brian, how much longer do you think that poor motor has? Um, probably not gonna make it through the night. <laughs> yeah, he's probably not making it out of the parking lot. I'm just hoping my car's okay, because it's somewhere over there. And there's a lot of people over there, but that gives us a lot of time to look at these sick-ass builds that pull up to the meets. Hey, yo, stock U50 on slicks with the RPF1s. So you think this guy on this truck is compensating for something? Who, this guy? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> no, definitely not. All right, while everyone's looking at the revving, let's check out this Hyundai right here. KDM. All right, all right. We got the side skirts. All right. We got the caps going on. We got the louvers. We got the wing. Okay. So far, what I'm seeing is he just added a lot of caps. We got a cap there, a cap there. We got a louver. We got a weather guard cap. We're just adding caps everywhere. We got a, a wrap on the hood. I mean, like, the car itself doesn't look half bad. I, I do got to give it to him. It's not the worst thing here. But when you look at everything else that's here, that's not saying a whole lot. All right, so this is a first for me. I've never seen a bagged, wide body, stanced out fifth gen Camaro. And honestly, I'm kind of feeling it. Just because I know how heavy these cars are, why not make it heavier and just let it sit there? You know, there's no real point in making it fast. And this is, <laughs> this is kind of fire. I don't like the louver, but the wide body and the wheels, it's, it's kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie. It's just rattle can to hell. Oh yeah, no, that is totally rattle can to hell, but what do you think? You like it? Uh, what the, without the louvers, yeah. That's what I said, yeah. exactly what yeah, I said. Yeah, what yeah. about you, Brian? Uh, it's all right, not my cup of tea. All right, all right, we, we can't please them all. The wheels are super I deep though. I don't know though. if I would put it on first though. It's super deep, what would you put it on? Welds? I don't know. Yeah, why? I don't know. <laughs> welds? You put welds, welds on a wide body, but... Well. I mean, it's like a wide body muscle car. That's kind of the whole point. It would be yeah. kind of sick. Imagine, like, some deep-ass welds. I mean, I'm wide, wide body on a slick, so... I wouldn't put it on slicks, but, you know, just maybe the welds would be cool. Alright, we got a, a Kia, I think, on the JNCs. Big-ass wing. Everyone is still revving. Like, it is still super obnoxious just everywhere, but... 
we'll, we'll, we'll appreciate this sick ass build. Oh, it's all the bikers saving. Now this lineup is looking pretty hard. And I got the sun visor up and it's nighttime. That's a, that's a pretty cool flex right here. We got some, what is this? It's a Q50. Oh my God, oh, Q60. What the fuck is going on with this thing? This side looks fine. This side, this side looks like it rolled right off the lot. You know, stock wheels and everything. But then you go to this side and you got some guy that could only afford half a wrap. Still on stock wheels. Half a wrap done. He's sad because he couldn't afford a full wrap. This is from a long time ago. They used to do this like two or three years ago. Yeah, this is like an old style. This but is when you want to preserve half of your paint and don't give a fuck about the rest. <laughs> yeah, when you feel the yeah. wrap, it's going to be yeah, like... It's a demonstration to show how good wrap is at protecting your paint. That's all. Oh, this thing caught my attention. I got to get there. I got to get there. Six Gen Camaro drop top, super aggressive mouth. Now the first thing I'm noticing is that he's still on stock wheels. Underneath the hood, oh, it looks still stock. He just put a little engine cover, kind of painted it. He got like some fake forged carbon. Warranty still intact, eh, Brian? I'd say so myself. Yeah, it, lo it looks like it. Marrow Maniacs, pretty hard for a club car. It's pretty tough. Looks like he's low on coolant. He does look a little low on coolant. Yeah, see, now, if you're going to do a show car, yeah, there are some good cars here, Alex. If you're going to do a show car, this is how you do it. Like, compared to what we just saw, this is ten times better. It's got the ZL1 front fascia, ZL1 kind of style hood, wide body on it, wide body, wide body, with carbon fenders and with carbon skirts. Super deep dish wheels. And the tire lettering is kind of satisfying to look at. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I mean, whoever waxed it did a really bad job, but the car itself looks pretty sick. God, that is so loud and so obnoxious. Nobody cares about your Genesis. Do you like the revving, Mammy? All right, this guy's got a sticker that says, fuck your feelings, so let's hurt his feelings. We got a, what are we looking at? Oh, no. It's a burnout. Oh my God. Yeah, it might be time to go pretty soon here, boys. Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, we have the base, base model Ford Focus, and he's pulling up to car meets with stickers that say, fuck your feelings. The base, base model with, with the fake carbon. Fake carbon, put them on blast. We got a bunch of stickers on it. We got stock wheels, aftermarket lug nuts. We got stupid fucking louvers on it. We got a shitty muffler. At least it's the, the titanium model. That's like the highest tier, right? Titanium? No, RS is. Well, besides, like a, <laughs> besides a, a real performance one there. Well, he's got the RS wing. Ah, oh, sick. He's got the RS wing. Maybe it is a real RS, you know? Yeah, yeah it looks like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing. The cop said, is this what a beached well looks like? <laughs> she ain't looking up from her phone. She's embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. It's literally off the ground. Like, she hovering. Change the wheel without even using the jack. I know. You do a tire rotation right now. Yeah. Let's see how they fix this predicament. Alright, on that note, we're gonna head towards our cars and take off. If these two slow boys... <laughs> okay, well, as I was saying, if these two slow boys want to get some runs in, I'm down. Um, Mammy will be here recording, of course. You know, I'll let her drive. You want to drive, Mammy? All right, she's down to drive. I'm down. I mean, I'm definitely going to win. Yeah, you might, you might actually win. <laughs> so. That's true. We got to go somewhere safe. Oh, of course we'll be videoing, so. 
Um, anyways, all right, let's head towards our cars and we're gonna go get some food first. Someone, is someone weed whacking? Yeah. You said this is clean? This? 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 You said this? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you're so, yeah, those fender washers are way better, but. Uh, I don't know, I mean, the paint looks a little iffy. It's yeah, he's got USR. His fitment ain't there yet. He needs a spacer or two. It's, it's a good project, but it's not, it's not done yet. Oh, I heard a firework go up, but it, it did not explode. That is scary. What'd you say? So it's like my car when I first got it. Your car was worse, no offense. But you oh, know yeah, that. Yeah. It came a lot better. Oh, yeah. It's got a rocket bunny front bumper or some sort. Is it on air suspension or is it just ready well, to go off road? 15 front end. Right? Oh, that's kind of cool. I actually like that. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I like the S15 front end. Front bumper? I just, dude, yeah, he's he's got to dial in the fin a little bit better. Because it looks like it's about to go off roading. Probably. Boom! In the V6? That's what happens when you take your dad's car to the meet. Brian, would you let your son take your V6 Camaro to the meet? I wouldn't own a V6 Camaro. That's the right time. answer. And I wouldn't have a son either. God, that guy has the smallest the dick possible. Crowd, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. We're trying to record how stupid people are. We're not trying to be a part of the stupid people. all right guys yeah so it was really bad um luckily i got out of there i didn't get harassed by police or anything surprisingly um it was a, a pain getting in but leaving was somewhat easy surprisingly so anyways um yeah don't be like those people please just do better you don't need to show off in your shitty gallardo or whatever the hell doesn't matter okay anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did please let me know down below um subscribe to see more videos like this one Maybe not like this one, but more videos that are car related with cool cars, not clowns. Um, anyways, until next video, peace.